Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion and today I have a really fun upcycling gift wrap idea to share with you. We are making some surprise can gifts using recycled cans and look at that. I've got a gift card and candy and confetti all inside this can. It's a magic easy tutorial to show you how to make this. I think everyone will love getting one of these. You just pop that open and you can pour out all the contents. Fill them up with candies, bath salts, money. Everyone loves to get some money and some gift cards. This is a super easy tutorial. We're doing napkin decoupage. I'm using Mod Podge in matte. We're gonna use some full cart home decor chalk. We're gonna use some Mod Podge sparkle. And on ones where I want to blend, we're going to use a little bit of folk art paint. Now, before you get started, it's important to know what kind of can you're going to need for this project. And what you're going to be looking for is a can that has a pull top on the top and you do not want a rounded edged bottom. This is a rounded edge bottom and you do not want that. You want a can that has a lipped edge, okay? Because you're going to be taking that bottom part off with a can opener and we're gonna be working from the bottom towards the inside. It's super easy to do and everybody loves getting these. These are great for the holidays, but they're also great for birthdays. All right, let's make them. You're gonna start by removing the paper label from your can. And remember, don't open the pull top, you're gonna to open the bottom. We're looking for the type that's not a curved edge and more a straight walled edge. Then you'll just go ahead and use a can opener to open up the bottom of the can. Once it's opened up, you're gonna thoroughly wash it out and make sure it's totally dry on the inside before you fill it. Now this is the fun part. You're gonna work from the bottom and you're gonna fill it with whatever you want. Candy, gift cards, money, little lip balms, anything you want, nail polish. Add some stuffing at the bottom and then we're going to reattach our bottom of our lid with some hot glue. It's super simple to do. Next, we're just gonna add a primer coat of Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. This will make all the colors of the napkin really pop through. Okay, let's prep our napkin. I'm using this really cute Christmas tree design and I'm gonna use like four of them around the can. We're only working with the top printed ply, so you're gonna separate the plies of the napkin. You're only gonna use the top that is printed. Then you can just trim around the motif and grab some Mod Podge mat and we'll be ready to decoupage. For this design, you're gonna work in sections. First, you'll just add some of the Mod Podge to the painted can. Then you'll add your first motif down and working with your brush and your fingers, you'll smooth out any wrinkles and glue the first piece to the can. You can wrap the bottom around to the base of the can and add more Mod Podge to secure it. Then you'll let that dry for a little bit and then you can continue on adding the rest of your trees. For this design, I did two of my trees taller than the other two. Once it's finished, you'll make sure that all of the tree bases wrap around to the bottom. Then you'll be ready to add some glitter and gems. To add glitter, I'm using a detailed paintbrush to just go in and paint Mod Podge in between those trees. I wanna create a snowy look here. So I'm using some white crystal glitter. So you'll just add your Mod Podge, then sprinkle your glitter right on top and tap off the extra. I did this all the way around the entire can. It's a little bit messy, but it sure does look cute when it's finished. Now for that sparkle that's on the tree, I'm using Mod Podge Sparkle Formula. And the Mod Podge Sparkle Formula has glitter embedded in it. And you can take another detail paintbrush and just brush it along the design of the tree. And that's gonna create a light Aurora Borealis sparkle anywhere you want it. It's great for highlighting your designs. Now for that little star on the top, I'm just adding a dot of Mod Podge and I'm adding a gem right to the top. To open, you just pop that top and you pour out all of the contents. Look at how fun and awesome that is. I know I would love to get one of these. Now let's look at some other ideas that you can do. If you want to match a background, instead of doing glitter, you can do paint 
With this napkin, I just color match some blue paint to the background, and then I'm just using a spouncer brush to fill in and paint the rest of the can. You can also use that Mod Podge Sparkle to create a glittery look on an all over napkin design like I'm using here on this bow. You can add trims and ribbons. I'm just adding a little bit of tinsel and a fun snowflake embellishment. The sky's the limit. You can get creative and use up some of those scraps to create these amazing mini can surprise gifts. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining me. Let's take a look at some of these cute fun designs for a little inspiration for you. I've got a modern striped one here. We just did a little bit of a gold trim. You can use pieces and parts of a napkin, add a little snowflake design. Large cans make awesome gifts too. Look at all that sparkle on there. That's that Mod Podge sparkle. I love it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this project has inspired you how to gift wrap a little bit differently this year. I'll be back here next week with another fun project. I wanna see what you're making, so make sure you use those hashtags, Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts. Have a crafty week.